Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to solve this system of equations. So let's give the equations names so it's easy to refer to them. So I'm going to call this 1, I'll call this 2, and I'll call this 3. And so the goal is to get rid of variables. So uh, usually it's a good idea to try to get rid of the x first. Uh, nothing here seems you know, super easy to get rid of. So let's start maybe by getting rid of the x's here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply this second equation by negative 2. That way this will become a negative 4. And so when we add it to the one below it, they'll cancel. So let's multiply uh, the second equation by negative 2. That's what I'm going to do now. So multiply that second one by negative 2. So negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. And then negative 2 times negative 4y is a positive 8y. And then negative 2 times 2z is negative 4z. And then negative 2 times negative 20 is a positive 40. It's really important to be careful. And after you do an operation, go back and check. So let's see. Negative 2 times neg negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 4y is positive 8y. Negative 2 times 2z is negative 4z. Negative 2 times negative 20 is positive 40. Okay, I'm going to write the, the third one below it because we're going to add them up. So 4x minus 3y plus 4z equals negative 20. So let's add these. And so when you add these equations, these cancel. So you get 5y. These cancel, and this is equal to 20. Very nice. Now we can divide by 5, divide by 5, and so y is equal to 4. I'm going to put this in a box because this is very, very useful. So now we have a couple of choices. Typically what people do is they take the y and they plug it back in. Now just a warning, if you plug it back into the same ones, it's not going to help at all. So you have to pick different ones. At least one of them has to be different. So let's take the y maybe and let's plug it into the first two. Okay, so plug, plug y equal 4 into 1 and 2. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Is that the best thing to do? I'm not sure, but it should work. So plugging it into the first one, so we have 5x plus 2 times 4 minus 5z equals 28. So this is the first one. Let's go ahead and clean this up. 5x plus 8 minus 5z equals 28. We can subtract the 8. That'll give us 5x minus 5z equals 20. That's pretty nice, right? Equals 20. You know, it's all here. All of this is divisible by 5, and I, I, it might help us. I'm not sure if it will. Let's go ahead and divide everything by 5. So x minus z equals 4. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner. I'm going to put this in a box because this is a useful equation. All right, now let's plug in plug it into, we said we're going to plug it into the second one. So it'll be 2x minus 4, and then we're plugging it in here. So 4 plus 2z equals negative 20. So that's going to be 2x minus 16 plus 2z equals negative 20. We can add the 16, so we get 2x plus 2z equals negative 4. And notice, look, we can divide all of these by 2, so it might be helpful, so let's do it. x plus z equals negative 2. And I'm going to put this in a box. So now what we do is we can solve these two equations. Oh, look at that. That's really, really nice. This worked out nice. What started off as a really ugly problem possibly became nice. So now we're going to write them on top of each other like this. So x plus z equals negative 2. And we can just add them and cancel the z's. So let's add. And when you do that, we get x plus x, so we get 2x. These cancel, and then here you get 2. Just divide by 2, divide by 2. We end up with x equals 1. Now that we have x, we can plug it in to find y, uh, to find z. So let's just plug it in here, right here, because it's close. So 1 plus z equals negative 2. Subtract 1, subtract 1. So we get z equals negative 3. 
So that's the answer. This everything in a box is an answer. It's better to write your answer uh, as an ordered triple. So it's a point in actual space. So it's x, y, z. So it's one, four, negative three, and that would be the final answer. I'm I'm really happy with this problem. I felt like um, it wasn't too bad. It looked really hard at the at the beginning because sometimes you get stuff like you know x plus two y plus z equals four and like x plus three y plus two z equals six. And already it's really easy. You can just like subtract them and just get rid of the x's. But in this case here, we had to do a little bit more work. So I thought it might be a harder problem, but um, it ended up working out uh, quite nicely. I hope this video has been helpful.